Hello, welcome. We're going to go over option explicit. If you've watched any of my previous syntax videos, this is a concept that was left out, but is very important. And what this does is it's a single phrase that you type at the beginning of a module, and it forces you to declare variable types before you use them in your code. And by use them, I mean compile and run. And so if we're just going to rewind for a second, if you didn't understand all of those terms, let's just start out with a module. Type option explicit at the top. And then begin its procedure by typing sub my pros. Just put mypoorc. You can also download any companion file from my website. Um, it's available at thatsobasic.com if you don't want to type out everything that I'm doing right now. Now I'm going to create a variable. Let's just start out with a string type. So we'll say dim my name as string. So my name is Amber, I'm your instructor, and my name is a string. And then uh, let's say my height as, let's, let's make it a double. So height is usually uh, feet and inches. So let's say my height feet, I'm five foot and some change, so we'll end up assigning this as five. Uh, let's go down a little bit and let's make an assignment with these variables that we just created. If I was to type my name equals and then in quotes because every time we want to do a string we type out quotes a m b e r and then let's type my height feet equals five. Now if I did not put any of this code here that says dim my name is string dim uh, my height is double and I did not put option explicit, then that would be called an implicit reference, where as soon as you run your code, Visual Basic would try to, in the compiling process, figure out, well, based off of the assignment, what type of variable do I think that this is? And it would see that there's a quote and that there's text in between, and it would figure out that it's a string, basically, and to treat it like a string. But then simultaneously, this would be seen as, well, there's no quotes, it's a number, so therefore it's an integer. And so you can see how um, that's not necessarily entirely accurate, because I called this a double. Let's say that I wanted to have 5.5. .5. Well, it's no longer an integer, it's now a floating point number or a double. Um, and if any of this is confusing you, feel free to go back to previous syntax videos and syntax videos one, two, and three. I talk about variable types and uh, syntax and uh, you should be able to get all of the information in those videos. Um, but what we're looking at here is simply talking about variable types. And so when I hit F8, what has happened is that the code has compiled. It has been digested from Visual Basic Syntax into a language that is being read by the computer. And everything within your sub procedure is um, so-called compiled all at once. And during that process, it sees in the module option explicit is on. Therefore, this name has to have a type string, and this name has to have a type double. So this is great because it prevents you from making mistakes later on, for example, spelling a variable incorrectly, and then referencing it and having the reference not function. So if I was to later say, if my name equals Amber, then message box, Amber found. Now you'll see I intentionally made a mistake. I typed E twice here. Um, an option explicit, it's going to immediately tell me that that's a problem. So if I hit F8, it says compile error, variable not defined. If I click OK, I can then fix the variable and it will only alert me of one problem at a time. So if I then hit uh, backspace and then hit F8, it would tell me if there are any other problems. But if there are no other problems, it will go ahead and let me run the code. Now, if I didn't have option explicit on, I just removed it. It's going to reset my project. Now I put an extra E here, and this variable name now has absolutely no reference. I'm going to run it. It didn't warn me of any problems whatsoever. And then I see, oops, that's an empty variable. It did not pick up the assignment at all, and my code is not running properly. So I recommend using option explicit in all of your code to make sure that you're not making any issues or errors along the way. All right, thanks so much, and I hope to join you in the next video.